Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Shiva Moja and today we are going to talk about IDAS. IDAS is basically an advanced safety system which is being incorporated by the automotive industry for your safety as well as the pedestrian safety on the roads. Whenever we are going to decide about the safety norms, we need to basically uh, take a reference from the NCAP. NCAP basically an organization which builds uh, norms around the safety system for the pedestrian as well as for the humans driving that vehicle. So NCAP is an organization which tests your vehicle on the different condition and different scenarios and after that they provide your vehicles with the stars. You must have heard about NCAP vehicle earning a 5 star, 4 star, 3 star, 2 star, 1 star. 1 star is the lowest and after that 5 star is the highest kind of uh, rating that an NCAP provide to your vehicle. So if you're talking about these kind of things and so if you're talking about the safety system, EDAS is one of the most priority on the list and we are seeing a more kind of computer involvement in our vehicle after 2020 and they're increasing with the time with the huge amount of jump in the automotive industry because we are moving towards the safer communication or you can say safer transportation and for that we need a machine interference in our vehicle. So in this video, by the end of this video, I must say, you will be able to answer a few of the major questions that is being asked on the street by the automotive experts or by the people around you. You must have heard about the people asking about how this forward collision system work, how this lane keeping assist system work. What is lane keeping assist? It's a safety system, it's a feature. So these kind of questions basically triggered you and if you are one of those automotive enthusiasts, subscribe to this channel. We are having a great lot of conversation on this kind of safety system as well. So by the end of this video, I was telling you that you will be able to answer a few of the six major questions that is being asked. First is what is a DAS? Second is why we need a DAS? Challenges for a DAS? Current scenario for a DAS vehicle? And what are the components for the ADAS? And sixth one is the future aspect of the ADAS. What are the future of the ADAS vehicle? So on my top, you must be seeing an image. That image basically tells you about the safety feature system, which is being involved with the time and which is being incorporated in your vehicle. By the time you must be watching this video and you must be watching this video in the 2021 and you have a lot of change in the automotive industry by this time. But we need to know about in-depth knowledge about all these kind of system. So first we we'll just dive into what is and what is basically an ADAS. ADAS is basically an advanced driving assistant system. ADAS is basically a semi-automatic system. Till now, till 2025, it would be a semi-automatic. After 2025, we are seeing a fully automatic system kind of ADAS in your vehicle. You must have heard about the semi-automatic system which basically controls your vehicle to increase your comfort, improve your safety. Because adaptive cruise control controls your vehicle in both kinds. It controls your vehicle in longitudinal as well as the lateral kind of system. Longitudinal and lateral means speed as well as the steering. So these kind of things which was being controlled by computer is a major change in the automotive industry and we're seeing a lot of involvement of the computer. So ADAS is basically works as good as a human. For a human we have an eyes, nose, ears. These kind of things are work as a sensor. You, I must give you a rough idea that if you're talking about these kind of system. So this is basically an input which is a sensor. Uh, for a human we have eyes. We have nose, we have ears, we have sensing uh, skins. So these kind of in our inputs. After that, we have uh, you can say computer where we store our all data and react or you can say basically a lookup table for the computer or you can say automotive enthusiasm. In this lookup table, we have a line of codes and these line of codes basically are set by the, you can say uh, engineers or you can say by the researchers and they run these kinds of uh, uh, these kind of codes according to the input. So if you're talking about a human body, we get an input from our eyes, then we process it our brain, and then our mouth speaks it. So our mouth is an actuator, our tongue is an actuator, our brain is an, you can say, ECU for the vehicle, and our eyes and nose are the uh, sensors for the actuators or to command all this vehicle. So in future, we are seeing a lot of changes and the vehicle will behave as good as a human on the road. So the evaluation or you can say the project valuation of the ADAS vehicle will be 91.83 billion by 2025 and after that we are seeing a great spike in this number because we are evolving with the time and we will need a more and more ADAS vehicle because connected vehicle are being introduced to the industry after 2025. So now we must be knowing that what are the basic requirements and what 
why we need these kind of systems so if you're talking about the need first we need to know about the statistics if you're talking about statistics 40 percent of accident on the road according to the bureau of uh, you can say accidents or the road agency they say the 40 percent of the accident on the roads are due to the inactiveness or the distraction of the driver or in or you can say the human brains are not working because he has driven a lot of kilometers in the past journey so these kind of things basically make you inactive make your you can say sensory system goes numb and these kind of system basically lead to the accident so if you're talking about statistics the who have uh, numbered it on the ninth list according to the 2004 road accident but in the 2020 it will be on the fifth highest number of the deaths by the 2030 according to who so you must be seeing a great jump of the four digit or you can say four place after 2030 or after the 10 years from now so we need to incorporate all these kind of systems so that we can decrease the number and we have a less deaths in the transport business or you can say for the fleet owner the major accident that happens to the on the road are because of the fleets owner or you can say the inactiveness of the fleet owner drivers so these kind of system need to be uh, basically projected and we need to help those peoples because they need to run their business as well as they need to be safe on the be on the safer side so that's why we need an adas system now we need to know how adas vehicle is different from the normal vehicle so now you are seeing an image on the way uh, an image on your screen you must be seeing a lot of names or not a lot of uh, you can say features or safety features written on the screen so if you're talking about the uh, component that is being basically a work as an input are ultrasonic sensor range uh, radars medium and short range radars camera lidars and long range radar so these kind of systems are basically an input system for your vehicle and if your vehicle is incorporated with an adas system you will be having these kind of or you can say few kind of these system in your vehicle and we are seeing a great great startups coming up in the front for this kind of system for the indian market and we will be seeing a great jump in the indian market as well as the global for the adas vehicle so these kind of components need to be manufactured on a very good quality so that they work 24 hours whenever the vehicle is being driven on the road and they have a good self life so we have to basically tackle all these problems and the second third after this point is what are the challenges for the adas vehicle so before getting into the challenges we must know the current scenario current scenario if you're talking about we are seeing a great jump after 20 20 because we having a lot of involvement or you can say a lot of change in the uh, you can say ncap system ncap is basically a society which works towards the safety of the vehicle and they basically perform different kind of safety system according to the requirement or according to the segment that car has been built by the oems so before 2020 we have 10 percent involvement after 2020 we are seeing a 40 percent jump in the involvement of the adas and that's why because we are seeing a great jump you can say great change into the ncap policies and they are seeing a more vehicle safe due to computer involvement so these kind of things will make the system more and more easier and more and more reliable and after that we must know about the challenges as the next slide says challenges for the dash vehicle first one is the cost why i recommended or why i put it the cost on the first list because if you're talking about the automotive sector a lot of people are not interested in luxury segment a lot of people are not interested in sedans suv these kind of vehicles are kind of expensive and the people those who afford these kind of people are basically able to pay uh, 5000 5 lakhs much more rupees because they have a requirement but if you're talking about the majority of the population on this earth they basically go for hatchback and to incorporate these kind of system in a hatchback will be the major challenge for the all brands if somehow they they able to do it they will be the big change or you can say the big player in this industry after 2020 so you can say uh, the cost management would be the great uh, great uh, you can say effectiveness or you can say great great uh, kick for the automotive industry and if somehow they tackled it they, there will be a revolution in the automotive industry second point is the manufacturing of the goods or you can say goods or you can say in form of electronic component the electric component or electronic components that you are incorporating in our vehicle will be the major major role player of the adas vehicle because you must have seen lidars 
sensor cameras ultrasonic sensor these kind of things are basically electronics good and if somehow these kind of things fails your computer is an electronic if that fails there will be a huge loss to a life that is being driven on uh, that that has been driving that vehicle or on the for the pedestrian that is on the road after that we need to have a good cyber security cyber security is one of the most critical uh, you can say thing for the future vehicles for the future uh, automotive sector because we are seeing a lot of evolution in the connected vehicle autonomous vehicle adas system so these kind of system need to work on the proper channel and a proper connectivity that's why i'm saying that uh, these kind of things need to be uh, answered in a proper way by the automotive expert in the industry and now you must be thinking why cyber security so if you're talking about cyber security there is a system which is called as telematic control unit telematic control unit basically gives you an information prior about the road system and for that we need to connect our vehicle to the several thing you must have heard about v2x if not please subscribe to this channel we are going to have a video or you can say a session on that topic as well and we will be uploading that video soon in this channel so you will get to know what basically v2x v2g v2i these kind of system and why we need it then we have a future you can say the future of the adas vehicle is the fully autonomous vehicle adas system basically leads to an uh, fully autonomous vehicle it's basically a first pillar for the autonomous vehicle or you can say self driving vehicle first we need to develop the safety system if somehow something went wrong towards the autonomous vehicle or you can say safety system we will be able to answer the uh, safeties or you can say we will be able to basically get to the system by using the safety system which is being already incorporated and if we have a tested and a full proof safety system it would be a more confident and the oems will be more confident producing the self driving uh, vehicle or the fully autonomous vehicle so the future of this uh, adas vehicle is the connectivity actuator mapping processing uh, software sensor software will play the major role in the coming future because if you are talking about the self driving car we have more than 100 billion lines of code by the uh, you can say researchers as well as the experts in the industry vicom car has more than 100 million whereas the boeing 737 has 65 billions of code so you can see the amount of you can say the involvement of the softwares electronics these kind of goods are going to increase to improve the safety of the autonomous sector or you can say automotive sector so this is what basically i think as an automotive engineer that adas is the future and we need to know so please share this video with all your loved ones so basically they can get to know about the adas vehicle and if you have any question or if you have any doubt regarding this topic feel free to comment down below you can join me on my whatsapp telegram channel as well as on the instagram i will leave my instagram handle in the description you can uh, you can go there and ask me question on a personal basis i will uh, i will answer your questions as soon as possible so thank you for watching this video and we will see you in the next video and till then peace